Alright, we are back. I guess there's a glitchy thing there, the computer. Alright. Entering puzzle 0802. There is one bridge cube and one laser cube and one door and one button and one laser input. Astra? And... Yes? Very helpful, but please stop. Object detection decreased to 150%. There. Alright. That's gotta get up there. Uh-huh. I'm assuming... Yeah, I can't reach up there, so... Done. That was easy. A nice breather from all the uh, the 700s where I kept failing. Puzzle areas eight continued foliage, uh, foliage conservation seed bank, and sweet 102. Well, we can't go 102. Yes, we will continue. Okay. Trophy center. If no one comes from the future to stop you doing it. How bad can it be? Alright. Uh, relaxation area. You can solve more puzzles with a clear and fresh mind. We've seen that one before. See what I gotta do. I've done this so many times and the one place I don't want to go is down there, but I don't think I have any choice in the matter.
don't know how to get up there. I'm panicking. Got it. Now I can climb up there. looking days, hasn't it? Okay. We're done here. I don't know if there's any more secrets or anything of the sort, but I guess let's continue on. This totally looks like a room now. There was a red one. What's with the fresh paint job? Those are entropy stun bots. They are brought out in exceptional circumstances of severe civil unrest or security requirements. They've only been deployed once, when the entropy debate club became rather disorderly. What's with all the fans? <laughs> Calling all budding debaters, this week we are going in uh, to be debating the following topics. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no. Entropy puzzles, too hard or too easy. Rewind Earth, shall we rewind Earth if they are the source of their own destruction? Testing your debating skills, improve your argumentative literacy, argue and yell at your peers, civilly, curse and swear at people's opinions without getting reported to HR. You still could, don't go too hard. See you there at Thursday Research Lab Room 8 at 2100. Uh, Carl, can anyone else hear that weird humming sound? Yeah, what is that? Ditto. Guys, might be me. It's just so hot in here. Anyone else, like, really stuffy? That explains why he has all the fans going. Hi, Loops. so much sound that I couldn't okay. okay so if I can't up there Stagnant water, that looks like a bad idea.
more water here. I thought it was the makeup palette, and I was like, oh. Hey, you do you, boo. It, it's not. Nothing secretive in here. These have got to be disgusting. <laughs> the ice cream again. I jumped down there. All right. Okay, so let's put, before I burn myself to a crisp, let's put this here. Here. Back. Let's take this. I had it too short and I was sweating bullets just a little bit. Alright, one more look at Earth before we wander away. I wonder what the birds think of this. 
didn't see any other secrets. Unstable. Okay, puzzle area 9, cocktail bar we just came from, and reactor maintenance, but I did see a computer here that I wanted to be interacted with. Dear puzzle operatives, we would like to remind you of the following side effects of repetitive rewinding. As you are all aware, you endure a personal self-isolated rewind event once you have completed all puzzles at the center, so you can complete them for the first time again to generate more entropy energy. We recommend that no puzzle operative receives a personal rewind event no more than twice a month. Excessive and repetitive personal rewind events can cause amnesia. Other minor side effects may include vomiting, nausea, headaches, icky joints, tinnitus, hair loss, balding, stuffy nose, piles, piles of what? Uh, hemorrhoids, loss of limb, loss of limbs, hearing loss, sight loss, dry skin. May I remind you that the main large Entropy device that rewinds Earth is perfectly safe, and no side effects have been observed. Fine regards, Entropy Center, Health and Safety Team. No, I don't believe you. I mean, I believe you about the side effects. I don't believe you about Earth not having any. But I have an idea. Okay, let's set this here. Mm. 
that over yonder. Gosh, that was purely accidental and not planned. I would love to say that I planned that out. I did not. <laughs> okay, I know where it wants me to go. I'm just checking to make sure there's not any. This elevator looks like it's seen better days. Wait. The imperfections on the door are identical. Copy and paste, anyone? moment to breathe. Uh... Right. 
Uh, what am I supposed to do? Okay. One there. Alright, I see. One more. Uh, stand here for a second. Bought myself a minute. I don't, where does this cord go to? Oh, up here. Okay, I gotta bring the jumpy puzzle. Or the jumpy thing. secrets. Okay. <clears throat> Just checking. I didn't know if I could get anything. Blocked clearly. <laughs> right before we do that. up there trying hard to get up here oh, I made that so much than it needed to be guys so much harder Entropy Cat Facts. Uh, Entropy Cat Facts. Hey, Ben, welcome to your daily dose of Entropy Cat Facts. Did you know that cats have whiskers on the back of their front legs as well? And also that cats have 230 bones, whereas humans have 206. Oh, amazing. Stay tuned for more Entropy Cat Facts. Unsubscribe, please. Thanks for subscribing to Entropy Cat Facts. As you're already a subscribe member, we will continue sending cat facts. No unsubscribe, no emails. Thanks for subscribing to Entropy Cat Facts. As you're already a subscribe member, we will continue sending cat facts. <laughs> ah, bummer. Bummer, Ben. Without any flickering. This way. Uh, to all Entropy Center staff, please note that this Friday's staff meeting is now mandatory. Dr. Sam Ball is hosting a lecture regarding some important findings regarding the frequency of the type of cataclysmic events that we are encountering. Kind regards, Entropy Center HR team. 
Roxanne Ball. Hey, Leanne, I just wanted to get in touch regarding the latest entropy wide events on Earth. I know your analysis uh, this subject as well with the humanitarian study team. Well, the latest data is, well, I'll let it speak for itself. Are you seeing this pattern too? We're seeing a 60% drop in random natural disaster events and a 76% rise in cataclysmic events caused by humanity. We used to be about saving endangered species and wildlife. Now we seem to mostly be caught up in humanitarian based affairs. How much longer before this gets out of hand? I'm going to be hosting a lecture during this Friday's meeting going into more detail about this. Let's catch up soon, Sam. That's a very glowy <laughs> cup. Three o'clock, huh? We have waters. We have water and we have a laser. If I set this here and grab that. Oh! Not what I meant to at all, but... Okay. I should probably get up on this, huh? again, aren't I? Cross over that way. We got this. <laughs> the simplest maps have been messing me up and it's embarrassing.
There's nothing down there. I looked. It's just all... All this fake water. Fake beach. You guys, it was probably only a minute, but it took me a stupid amount of time to figure it out. Um, are you having an angry day or a happy day? Those, those are locked. Locked. Alright. Uh, we got puzzle area 9 and reactor staff quarters and suite 461, which we can't go that way. to restore its tall state. Note, time gates do not remove rewind from tall cubes. How many more of these puzzle elements do you have? Many. Oh, Astra's little face. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call it done there. I will be back soon with more. Thank you guys for keeping me company.